All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna to show you how to solve PDE with a change of functions or like an exponential transformation. And it's very similar to the idea of an integrating factor in um, ODEs. So for this, let's solve the following PDE, AUX plus BUY plus CU equals zero. And basically the idea is if we didn't have the CU part, everything would be happy because then we can just use our method for first order PDEs and then just find a solution. So somehow what we would like to do is get rid of this CU term. And by the way, there are other methods of doing this. You could use the method of characteristics to solve this. You could use a change of coordinates that might also work. But here, let me just illustrate this integrating factor technique. So how about, and again, I might be wrong about this. Let me, just for one second, I think it's this E of minus C over AX. Oh, wait, not that. Let me try that. So V is E to the C over A X. And again, we kind of want to, uh, we want to have this E because we want to use the Prada Lu. And also, I think we have this plus here because we want U to be minus that. And then we do have some cancellations. So if V is E to the C over A X U, then this becomes U is e to the minus c over a x v and then what you want to do you want to plug this into the pde so then let's calculate first of all u x u x is the derivative of this with respect to x and then now use the prada lu so minus c over a e to the c over a x v plus e to the minus c over ax dx and then ui is actually much easier to differentiate because this doesn't depend on y so we just have that it's uh, this constant times vy e to the minus c over ax vy and then just plug into the pde so aux becomes a times minus c over a e to the c over a x oh, what there was minus sorry there you go. where did that go uh, so we have this and then so e to the minus c over a x v plus e to the minus c over a x v x and then plus b times e to the minus c over a x and dy plus cu i guess u is again so u is e to the minus c over a xv equals zero okay and then well it looks like a catastrophe but let's see if this simplifies well it kind of does a times minus c over a it's minus c e to the minus c over a x plus a e to the minus c over a x v x plus b e to the minus c over a x v y and plus c e to the minus c over a x v equals zero and lo and behold remember we wanted to cancel out this c u well it actually cancels out. So hey, that term, see you soon. So boom, boom. And then what we're left with is this thing. It looks horrible because it still has this exponential term, but just like Yoshi in Super Mario, we'll, we'll use this to help us and then we'll betray it. So let's cancel this one out as well. E to the minus C over A, X, A, V, X, plus b v y equals zero this cancels out and lo and behold and we divide by this term and lo and behold we just have our simple um trans 
first like first order constant coefficient equation. So we're left with a v x plus b v y equals zero. And that's the whole point of transform methods to talk take a very complicated PDE and simplify it so it becomes a solvable PDE. Now what's the solution of this? So v x y. It's I LMAO, so F of AY minus BX. And then lastly, we just need to solve for U. So then U, UXY becomes E to the minus C over AX, V. And that's E to the minus C over AX, F of AY minus BX. This is your solution of the original equation AUX plus BUY equals uh, plus CU equals zero. And again, F here is an arbitrary function. And notice, in fact, if you look at the solution, it is of the form E to the minus C over AX times some other function. So actually it works. All right, I hope you like this little extravaganza. If you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.